Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Sugar with Sugar Moon. How are you guys all doing? I hope that you guys are all having a beautiful day, night, wherever you guys may be in the world. And I hope that you're taking care of your energy as such. I've been on this little starseed um, twin flame kick thing recently and go ahead and check out my previous videos if you're interested, if you identify with Sirius or Lyra starseeds of any sort. I will also be within like channeled messages as well as astrology, spirit animals, synchronicities, angel numbers, all of that galore. Um, will be mentioned within those videos so that will be listed down in the description box below if you guys are interested as well as my instagram and other ways social media etc so okay yes so today is going to be more so about the atlantis star seeds okay so atlantis i mentioned with atlantis about this like within many videos i myself am connected to atlantis as well and when i found out that i was it was actually not a surprise <laughs> If you feel like you've always been called to like water or oceans or you always felt guided to just large, you just like large body of waters in general, maybe like lakes as well, um, rivers, you know, but mainly oceans, okay, or oceanic life. You maybe are someone who's into like marine animals or anything with marine, maybe marine biology. I don't know. Um, depends on the person. So like atlantis is a place that was closely tied with sirius as well as ancient comet and i mentioned that within previous videos as well i believe lyra was also connected to atlantis at one point but i feel like sirius and lemuria they said and as well as ancient comet were like main things that were really tied together okay atlantis was destroyed we all, a lot of people have heard of atlantis before i'm sure if you guys have seen many adaptions or mentions of it the lost city okay <laughs> the one that's buried underneath water um, people even associate it with merfolk or mermaids in general which fun fact merfolk did derive from the planet mintaka which actually was destroyed and which is why a lot of merfolk or mer beings were incarnated here on earth during the Atlantis times so I guess that is why a lot of people associate Atlantis with merfolk but that doesn't mean that merfolk necessarily lived in Atlantis at that point when it was running and all of that no it was more so like it the merfolk as well as the civilization that was living within Atlantis had a close relation and would work amongst one another just like any other different types of beings because people in Atlantis they keep in mind they their chakras <laughs> they had a lot more activated chakras than we do here on this 3d physical plane usually you'll hear about seven chakras which is you know the root the sacral the solar plexus the heart the throat the third eye as well as the crown we do mention many other chakras okay but atlantis was known for having many more okay i don't know specifically how much chakras maybe up to 11 or even more that they've had activated within them that means that they had more abilities uh, more psychic abilities they were more in tune in fact they were people that can actually communicate while telepathically speaking to one another so there was no really need for actual speaking uh communication wise okay dolphins are also associated with atlantis as well if you guys see spirit animal wise i mentioned that if you are a serious star seed you would benefit by watching my pick a card reading or the general reading for the lunar eclipse gemini full moon because i mentioned a lot about serious star seeds within that or those videos in general okay um, another thing that derives from them that you'll know is whales okay whales are big like ancient creatures who've been around and probably been around the block when it comes to atlantis and whales are associated with the i would say they're saying divine masculine energy okay being able to dive deep to certain depths that necessarily the divine feminine energy cannot really go into but dolphins are more so highly um, involved with the divine feminine energy because of the intelligence or the use of the crown chakra as well as the speaking abilities that is something more so of a divine feminine type of energy okay more playful more you know fun <laughs> that type of thing whereas the whale is more grounded more stable ancient old soul and creatures wise so yeah that, that, that's been popping up and also Atlantis was known for having technology or advanced technology that was closely related to Sirius star seeds and <laughs> Some, I feel like the biggest story that we all uh, know of is that it got out of hand and the misuse of technology was just 
too much and it ended up creating mass destruction, kind of similar to other planets or other star seeds that have similar um, fates within their past lives and stuff, but not all planets was destroyed due to technology, but that is one of the main things that, uh, that a lot of the times that we can really relate to, even now here in the 3D physical plane, it's important not to uh, let things, certain things get out of hand or let our ego and pride get out of hand, okay? Because technology isn't bad, it's just the person that's wielding it or could be using it within bad intentions or good intentions. It just depends on who's wielding it or who's using it. I thought that was a little bit of an intro for Atlantis Starseed, okay? I'm going to dive in into the general reading, so hold on. Use this mermaid tarot deck right here that I have. This will be the perfect... Uh, time to use this deck. So the 1212 portal is coming up fairly soon. So that's very significant and very important Also to mention today is my grandmother's birthday. So rest in peace to my grandmother She is also the one that started to call me sugar She's the one that gave me the nickname sugar, which is what we use for this channel. So this is very significant Okay, so I feel her energy. She was Sagittarius. So shout out to Sagittarius is out there. Happy birthday to you guys I don't think I mentioned that just yet within Sagittarius season, but shout out to you guys if you guys have a birthday, okay? So, all right. Atlantis star seeds, as well as this can apply to Twin Flame journey if you identify, because Twin Flames are also ancient old souls that I wouldn't be surprised if you guys have some several past lives to certain places, okay? So going ahead and Atlantis star seeds, what is going on with the Atlantis timelines? I know you can also access Atlantis if you're able to meditate as well as go within and you can access it within the 4D, okay? And 4D is known as the pocket world or the in-between, okay? It is the transfer world. It's the world that we go to for our astral realm, our dream state, okay? So it's very significant to that. I always call it the transitioning um, state, okay? Usually, like, if you believe in reincarnation, it's like where you pass on, you pass through the 4D state in order to get to the 5D. 4D represents truth and the cutting of all of illusions. Okay, seeing past the illusionment. Atlantis star seeds as well as twin flames. What is going on, generally speaking? Whoa, okay. Okay, so we have first that came out is the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. Wow, so two knights, guys. Two knights. <clears throat> Ooh, Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Oh my goodness, guys. Isn't that beautiful energy? Oh, I know this is the Queen of Pentacles, but that Ace of Pentacles is really standing out to me. I feel like this is a gift or a new beginning that's coming on the horizon. It has been a long time coming as well. I see that this is also an offer of love or commitment. This is like a start. Like this is someone, this is like similar to the Page of Cups, but the Knight of Cups is more so someone who has like a, a crush for quite some time on someone. Okay, so someone wants to give their cup. I see that, why? Because of the Four of Wands. Four of Wands is also a Twin Flame card as well, so it lets me know that Twin Flames are also tuning in, um, both the Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. Four of Wands also represents marriage as well, okay? It's the coming together, it's the 11-11, all right? So, oh goodness, guys. And we just had the Gemini full moon not too long ago, so the Gemini energy is very potent and very significant right now at this time. I also so um, within previous videos, forgot to mention that Neptune is also direct, so no longer is it in retrograde any longer. So a lot of the illusionment that I've been stating is now about to like fade away or kind of move. They're showing me fog, like when fog kind of lifts up and then the sunshine breaks through. That's kind of like what it feels like. It feels like clarity, okay? Knight of Pentacles is also someone who's been... <laughs> Minding their own business, just someone who's studious, someone who's been building up knowledge over time. Yeah, this is like an offer of commitment because Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Wands represents for me like marriage or commitment or someone who's in a marriage and commitment, okay? Or someone who is not married but someone sees you or the person you see is marriage material or someone that you can see like spending your time or life with in general so i feel like that's significant the atlantis timeline i feel like 
Since we just had the Gemini full moon, you see the full moon right there? And then the volcano in the back, and then they're sitting right there together. This reminds me of like inner union reflecting into outer union. We have six of pentacles, which at the bottom of the deck, um, which is a bunch of fairies. You see that? Look at all those fairies, beautiful. Okay, you could be connecting with the Fae or something to do with butterflies, even blue butterflies in particular um, have some significance too. So anytime that you see butterflies, basically, or dragonflies, or even fireflies, those are representation of the Fae being around to help you guys, okay? So it's kind of like them in disguise. Also, Six of Pentacles is bringing balance to a situation. I'm feeling a lot of Libra energy coming through. You don't have to be necessarily, um, but it's just more so the energy that I feel coming through. Balance, harmony, okay, reciprocity. More for Atlantis, more information. Oh, whoa, okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the world card. Ooh, that's 21, guys. So if you guys have been seeing the number 21 or 1221 or 2112, that is very significant because that is the winter solstice that's coming up in December. So that is the portal. This is the 1212 portal that I am mentioning, okay? So something is reflecting from that world into this world. We're also gonna be going into the age of Aquarius within that time frame. So we are leaving the age of Pisces, which is that illusionment that Neptune energy and we're going into the 11th house which is Aquarius okay that is the 1111 old wishes coming true that is um, ultimate truth okay it's also the feeling of drowning from the Pisces energy um, which is about like that lotus energy like being underneath the mud and then the Aquarius energy is coming out of the mud like blooming I'm also <laughs> Seeing the Atlantis timelines, you see this, this has everything to do with this. The 1212 portal um, possibly could be bringing a lot of light code activations or DNA activations from the Atlantis timeline. And they're bringing that and it's going to be like a ray, kind of like a sunshine that they're showing me that's going to be hitting us and it's going to be filling us up with those activations okay so you might be experiencing some ascension symptoms they said straight off the bat okay so don't be like surprised if you may feel a little queasy a little sick maybe if you feel um headachy or you know because ascension symptoms is kind of similar to feeling like you may have like kind of sick symptoms so i don't want you guys to like freak out or anything because i know that we're in a time right now during quarantine but i just just Letting you know that ascension symptoms right now are very prevalent. What came out is the Two of Swords, the Hermit, ooh, I'm feeling Virgo energy, Strength card, oh guys, you're gonna freak out, Three of Swords and the Two of Cups. Wow, guys, so this right here, Two of Swords. So there's some indecision, a crossroads, this is that crossroad type of energy needing to make a decision um, i'm also feeling a lot of like two divine masculine energy so maybe possibly this is for my divine feminines out there you might have some options or like maybe not just one option in love but like people who have their eye on you i feel because you see how this person has this eye on the cup it reminds me of like a of a phone screen or a computer screen Okay, but it also represents for me that there's like two divine masculine energy coming through. So there might be, some, I'm, I'm seeing two bucks going like this, like boom, like that with their antlers. I don't know why, but that was, okay. I guess this, I'm feeling a lot of earth energy. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, straight off of that, okay? But also this is air energy as well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Now, it doesn't have to be two divine masculine energy. It could also mean that this is just one divine masculine energy that you are dealing with or that I'm feeling right now and you embody different aspects within you. Like, this is that Gemini energy. This is someone who has like that dual personality or um, is very in tune with their shadow and light self and is very balanced like within their psyche, okay? Like both their brains, their left and right brain both work at the same time. So we have the hermit card this is the i'm seeing octopus this is the virgo energy that i'm feeling so someone who was taking time out or away in order to replenish or heal also it can mean that someone needing to heal their heart for quite some time because knight of pentacles and the knight of cups and the three of swords lets me know right here that someone was uh, recently or in the past went through a heartbreak or something that was quite 
hurtful or painful within the heart chakra region. It could also mean that your heart chakra was just having activations in general if you're not experiencing any form of heartbreak at this point. But I just feel more so this could have been something that was in the past. I mentioned of whales earlier and how the whales represent the divine masculine energy and we are talking about the divine masculines predominantly. I don't know why because I feel like I was going in here going to ask more about the divine feminine energy but they're wanting to talk about the divine masculine so I guess their energy is coming through. <laughs> Yeah, so the whales, which is that ancient old creature, this is Atlantis timeline, and the two of cups represent someone, this is like soulmate energy, this is someone that shares like the cup together, someone that wants to give this cup or hand it to this person, okay? It could also mean a past situation or a past lover that broke your heart and you needed time to heal from that experience, okay? Needing strength. Now, strength is usually depicted as the lion in the original tarot deck, so I love it that they're giving me a whale for the star seeds in general. <clears throat> I'm having a feeling that this timeline or this time point, they're really gonna be activating mainly the divine masculine energy there was a loss in the past whether it was a lover a friend a family member whomever i feel like there was a loss of some sort and there's like needing strength to heal or get themselves out of this situation or needing the strength to come out of that hermit mode because the hermit mode for me represents also like someone that's hidden someone that's been hiding for quite some time or hidden emotions okay with the knight of cups now if someone was married or was in a marriage that was car of karmic um energy and there's nothing but just heartbreak and everything like that i feel like the Divine Masculines, if they were married, this won't resonate for everybody. They will be, like I'm seeing, like strength in order to break away or to claim their independence, divorces, etc. But that doesn't apply for everyone, okay? Because not every Divine Masculine is in a relationship or even in a marriage, okay? But that could be for someone out there. But I see more so this is for someone who sees you, the person who's watching, as more of marriage material. They see you as like the prize, <laughs> the victory, okay? <laughs> Four of Wands, right? You are mothering, nurturing, maybe the mother of uh, their children, okay? In the future, possibly. Yeah, but like the Two of Cups, this is that soulmate energy. This is from like people from two different worlds, okay? So it reminds me of the Little Mermaid just a little bit, just a little bit. Like this reminds me of like Prince Eric and Ariel meeting each other and they're from different worlds, um, possibly from different backgrounds, cultural backgrounds. That could be a thing. Back then in Atlantis timelines, you guys were together of some sort or there was some meeting, but there was a loss. There was like an interference that happened and it felt like it was unfinished business. I don't know why I'm getting that feeling, like unfinished business, something that, hmm. Well, twin flames are never like finished in the It could mean someone who, <laughs> someone who was guarded at one point for quite some time, kind of put like a barrier or a net around their heart is now melting in a way. It's melting into this, right? It's blooming. That's Cute. So confirmation. I'm gonna ask specifically for star seeds for the Atlantis timeline. Atlantis. They're saying Lemuria too, but I'm saying more. Let's, what about Atlantis? Ooh, that would be cool. If one soul was from Lemuria and the other one was from Atlantis, that's like different. One has different viewpoints. One believes more in science and the advancement of technology as well as the uh, con human consciousness, while the other one believes more in shamanistic qualities, working with the earth and mother nature, being one with nature. So I see that maybe you guys have different ideologies or backgrounds and belief systems, which is, this is pretty cool. <laughs> so, oh, okay. 
Whoa, so 29 and four. So the woman holding the rose and the house. So 444 four, four energy could be seeing that. Also the 29 reduces to 11. So that's the 1111, 11, okay? <clears throat> so um, the house, this could also represent the home. This is like Atlantis was your home. It was a past home of yours, okay? And it's you have remembrance or passion or old love for it. So star seeds, it's more so like how she's looking out the window. It's about reminiscing, it's nostalgia. Okay, so you could have remembrance or memories of your home. Oh my goodness, guys. Bottom of the deck, we have the sun card, which is the divine masculine energy. Oh my goodness, guys. So the sun also represents not only just the divine masculine, it can also mean that the divine masculine sees you as their son as well. It could also represent, like I stated, children. Maybe there's a birth of a son in the future, possibly. Okay. Um, but I'm also feeling this is also serious star seeds that are also closely tied that are coming through. This is my Leo energy. This is the solar plexus. Okay, so sun is healing. Sun is clarity. Sun is being able to see past any form of illusion. So this is like remembrance of what home is. Okay, so Atlant anything more for the Atlantis? Wow. 20 oh oh my goodness this is like reminds me of you know the beauty and the beast where there's a rose encased into that rose encased also 20 represents 2020 which is this year okay uh you could also be seeing a lot of feathers or doves or certain birds around um okay i'm also seeing the white peacock that's symbolic a peacock in general is very symbolic for the twin flame journey peacocks also represent people say christ consciousness or a higher consciousness it also represents the throat chakra okay but i'm also seeing more so the white peacock it, they're showing me india so someone maybe i don't know someone studies up on hinduism i wonder if someone studies up more on like different types of deities within Hinduism. Like I mentioned Lord Ganesh, okay. They're so they're saying Shiva. God or goddess of destruction. Huh, that's kind of similar to Kali Ma. Or that is also um Hindu. I think so. Kali. Kali, which is destruction, meaning that the you have memories or like of the point where your home was destroyed. Okay, this represents for me. They're showing like how Atlantis, like there's some form of dome that's over this home thing. So it's kind of like what it reminds me of, like when you're underwater or like a sea or underwater, and then there's this dome that's protecting the home. And then angels or angelic beings are definitely surrounding this area or this place and also letting you know that it, your home is safe as well, like your temple, like the place where you're at physically right now, saying that they're guarding or protecting the home or the space that you're in, which is a great sign. That's also a, a lot of angelic beings coming through for that reason. Yeah, but the fact that we have the woman holding the rose as well as the encasing reminds me of that. And then here we have the child, which is a son, right? So maybe there's an unexpected birth or a pregnancy in the future. The rose and the encasing could also mean or represent a child or a birth of a new beginning. Not only does it represent that, it means someone's heart that is enclosed or encased within here represents that, the protection of the heart, the barriers of the heart is now coming down, the walls of it. Also, rainbows, you could be seeing rainbows. So rainbow star seed children are coming through as well. So twin flames, what does this have to do with twin flames for the Atlantis timeline? Ooh, okay, the star card, yeah. So this is the age of Aquarius, okay. So twin flames and the Atlantis timelines, you know, twin flames are very responsible for pulling some of these light codes into the physical and to share some of these information with the overall collective. So this is very important, okay. 16, you could be seeing 616 or 606, which is the balance being restored as well as unconditional love coming in the form of unexpected beginnings, okay. This is that Aquarius energy. You don't know what you're gonna get <laughs> oh my God. we have the stag and the mountain so you could be seeing oh my goodness i just said that i seen two stags or two male deer going at it like this do you see that 
so there could be some competition and not in the physical sense i feel like spiritually maybe um spirit is like two great options is what they're saying it, like whether it's in love or whether it's in finances whether it's just meeting your starseed tribe like your soul tribe meeting people who are from similar timelines like you know coming together of that so this represents the mountain or the perceived mountain in order to reach you okay so the it's about this long journey this is that knight of pentacles okay this is a long time coming a long time awaiting you could also live in a place where it's mainly has a lot of trees or areas. They're showing me like um, places like Alaska or Canada. I'm seeing more so Canada. I'm also seeing um, places like where I'm at, like the Pacific Northwest. Okay, so um, something to do with that. The six pointed stars also the winter solstice and we have the 21 right here so this re represents like snow falling or just snow in general christmas time around there if you celebrate christmas it could be kwanzaa it could be hanukkah whichever does not matter you don't even have to celebrate holidays in general. It just feels like that timeline, that portal, the 1212 portal, the winter solstice, something significant happening that day for the twin flames. And then that's, oh gosh. <gasps> Again, the letter. So we have the, this is this love letter, that cup, guys, the confessions of love. This could be communication. This can be text messages. This could be a call. It could be even meeting up in person. So if you guys are, stay safe, all right, you know. But it could also represent something that has been a long time coming that has been on the arrival, right? It's been in transit in the 4D and coming into the 3D. Divine Masons may be perceiving there might be some obstacle in the way, needing the strength to get past this, this heartbreak or the, the past, okay? Spirit says, this is something I'm learning as well in my journey, that just because certain something happened in the past does not mean that it will repeat now. If you have learned that lesson from the past and you learn to apply it now, Spirit is going to bless you with the things that you truly deserve, okay? So be open to that. Try not to bring that old heartbreak energy that happened in the past and try to apply it in the present moment because Spirit's asking you that that is a form of like self-sabotage in a way. And trust me, I know because uh, <laughs> I'm the queen of self-sabotage, especially in the past, but I'm working on it, all right? But this is about allowing for love to come in, okay? Allowing for love, you see that? love to shine through now that doesn't mean in the form of romance it can mean even self-love like you loving yourself more it can even be a time where you should write a letter to yourself or even write to yourself around this time okay write down your wishes put out to the universe what it is that you want the universe says we are aware of what you don't want we we know this okay we've been through that that's what caused this heartbreak in the first place now spirit is asking you to put out to the universe and focus on things that you do truly want and what makes you happy because spirit is wanting to gift you with this ace of pentacles this new beginning okay a new home also because this home front could represent that since your old home was destroyed you are now in the process of building a brand new home not only with yourself but with someone else okay possibly within the future if you want that to be Okay, so this right here, everything's happening within divine timing is what they said. This is all, this is why the patience is needed right now because of the astrological events have to play out for certain things to like pan out. Okay, so uh, the star, which is Sirius, that is the brightest star, Sirius star seeds are coming through as well as Polaris, which is finding your way back home. And what is home? You, Divine Feminine. Guess who is the rose that's encased here? That's you, you're the rose, okay? Beautiful energy, guys. Wow. Wow, 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 yep. In the bottom of the deck, we have the rainbow. So one, 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 something is coming towards you in the in the disguise of a new beginning. So I want to use the Heal Yourself Oracle deck just to ask about what is it specifically that you guys 
are working towards or working on? What is something that is happening for this 12-12 portal or in general for Atlantis timeline? What is going on for the Atlantis star seeds? What are they healing during this timeline? I know it's possibly the loss of the home, feeling lost, feeling like there's a big thing about feeling lost, feeling like you have to find your way back home. And also finding your way back home is finding your way back home to yourself, not just to a person, but to yourself. Okay, because that is how we find union with another person is finding home within ourselves first. Okay. Oh my goodness. Number four, sexuality. Oh, I was going to talk a little bit about the root chakra and the importance of red lately. We are in the fire season, which is Sagittarius, but the the root chakra, I feel like, is the main theme when it comes to the uh, Atlantis timeline. Why? Because that is where we store our lack of mentality or our deepest fears, um, things of like extreme loss, right? So say, for instance, those who deal with lack mentality, those who grew up feeling like poor or didn't grow up feeling like they had enough, it also represents um, the root chakra, if it's off, it represents feeling like never being enough, never having enough, never will be enough. It represents also like deep rooted fears, like when your home was destroyed, that's something that you hold within you. Um, even now, like f fearing of losing something, fearing of possibly losing your home. That's like a big theme right here that's coming out. And that stems from the root chakra, which is um, instability, being ungrounded. So if you're experiencing that, it can create a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety. And Spirit is saying that right now, if you're experiencing any forms of anxieties, start working with the color red, wearing red in general. Um, for my feminines, you can wear red lipstick, red jewelry, um, even red clothing, all of that, red shoes even, okay? Even having a red crystal like a red carnelian would also help when you're working with that. I'm also feeling for my divine masculines, you guys, same thing. You can implement whatever, all right? It does not matter. They're showing me that even if you are into like magic, even lighting a red candle can also help with with that root chakra, okay? So we have the dreams and sexuality three and fours. This is a synchronicity or the uh, sequence of moving on up. Wow, so again, emphasis of the butterflies or the fae that is closely related. You guys could also be heavily related to the fae in general or receiving signs from them. You could also be seeing tigers, okay, or any form of feline cat beings. And this is Lyra star seeds coming through. So Atlantis and Lyra, um, they're all being like activated right now together. It also represents that, um, see how protected this is? This reminds me of Aladdin in a way where Jasmine has that tiger being or that tiger on her side okay so it's like a guardian or someone that okay whoa okay so guardian this may not resonate with everyone all right but i mentioned this within a pick a card reading and it is for the cat spirit for lyra star seeds and i talked about yuna from final fantasy 10 and i feel like final fantasy has been a big theme lately if you guys are interested and you guys don't know about final fantasy it is a, it is a game that is widely popular in japan uh based and it is popular even for everyone worldwide because it is a part of my childhood as well as everybody you know who's played it growing up but Final Fantasy X with Yuna and Titus, I believe, or Titus, whatever his name is, that that journey in specific is coming up for the Twin Flame journey, if you guys know about that. Yuna, I mentioned, was a summoner or a form of high priestess. Her job was to help guide the dead or the passed on to the other world. So that was her job. It was to work with the heavily close related to the dead. She was also a summoner where she can summon certain beings or different beings from different realms and pull them into this one. And it, in order to do her like, protect her or her bedding, okay? Titus, which is the divine masculine energy, he was from a place called Xanarkin, okay? Xanarkin was similar to Atlantis. It was a very, it was a city heavily involved with technology, okay? It was very advanced and he was from that timeline. But what happened was there's this thing called Sin. Um, 
and I'm not going to spoil a little too much if people don't know about it, but sin um, would come in and destroy certain civilizations as such um, as time went by and people didn't really know why this was happening um, to a lot of cities and some people blamed it on the fact that the, the misuse of the technology got out of hand for that and some other blame it for other reasons, okay, whatever, it was many different reasons, okay, but since he would kind of died within that timeline of Xanarkin, he was transferred through that, um, I forgot what his name, but he transferred <clears throat> in this portal and he ended up like thousands of years in the future in this place called Spira. And Spira is like the old location or kind of like around the city realms of Xanarkin, okay? He was kind of misconstrued because he was like, whoa, I was in this place and then now it's thousands of years later and I pop up in another place and it's called Spira. People are speaking different languages. There's different customs like, you know, so he was very lost in that aspect and he learned that long time ago Xanarkin was actually destroyed and so he was confused like, how did I end up here? And Spira is when he ended up meeting Yuna. Okay, so Yuna... <clears throat> which is a summoner and the funny thing is is that as much as titus that's his counterpart that's his divine feminine as in the beginning he was kind of intimidated like he voiced that he was kind of scared or afraid when she when he would watch her do her things or like speak with the dead it's something or a concept that he just found foreign uh what's ascending are we going somewhere <sighs> you truly are clueless. Are you sure it's just your memory that's the problem? The dead need guidance. Filled with grief over their own death, they refuse to face their fate. They yearn to live on and resent those still alive. You see, they envy the living. And in time, that envy turns to anger, even hate. Should these souls remain in Spira, they become fiends that prey on the living. Sad, isn't it? The sending takes them to the far plane where they may rest in peace. Summoners do this? Hmm.
It must be tough, being a summoner. Yuna chose her own path. She knew, from the beginning, what it meant. All we can do is protect her along the way, until the end. Until the end? What's the end? <sighs> Until she defeats Sin. Oh. I hope... I hope I did okay. <sighs> you did very well. They've reached the far plane by now, but no tears next time, mm hmm? Uh. I wished there would never be a next time. No more people being killed by sin. No more sendings for Yuna. Everyone stood there watching her. It was strange, and somehow, horrifying. I never wanted to see it again. And Titus is like a great example of someone who is very divine masculine energy. Things have to be practical. It just has to be like one way, okay? And he's like constantly, I don't understand. But over time, he starts to realize, you know, and miss a little bit of home or wanting to go back home. And it's just, it's a whole journey. Like I advise people to watch Final Fantasy X right now because that storyline um, in particular is it's popping out for me okay so it could be like the dream state like I said something coming in from the form of a dream state you guys could also be meeting within the dream state as well or receiving guides or guidance and Titus was also someone that was initiator or asked to be Yuna's guardian <clears throat> and the role of a guardian is to protect and assist the summoner in their journey um, on their way in order to cleanse or defeat sin because sin will keep coming back continuously um, to destroy even if summoners were you know working on the time to destroy it it will come back like years later so there's like a big symbolism when it comes to that okay and and the guardian and the summoner type thing so it lets me know that divine Master they see you as their summoner or someone that they have to protect. They're protecting you. They're always on your side. So something about protection, okay? Also, this snake right here represents the Kundalini or the Chakra Awakening. Um, the Kundalini Awakening, which is the... You could be experiencing a lot of like symptoms within that. So go ahead and look that up, what Kundalini Rising is. So your root chakra has definitely been activated. And um, they're also saying sacral chakra as well. So I'm feeling like... You may be feeling a lot of sexual energy being exchanged, okay, between you both. But Atlantis timelines. Is there anything more with the Atlantis timelines? There, you are definitely healing through your dream state. Okay. So the more you sleep, the more you dream, the more that you're healing. And you know what's you know what's standing out is that there's this temple right here this ancient temple that she's walking into. So there could be some significance. Ooh, there's a lion. Do you see that? There's a lion up there. Right up here. Wow. So yeah, some significance to that. Yep. Atlantis star seeds. What does this have to do with twin flames? What does this have to do with twin flames? Atlantis star seeds. Wow. Help from above. You see that water energy? You could also be having dreams of water. This is the water coming in the tide. Um, I explained this within previous videos. I've had dreams of drowning in water quite several times, as well as water rushing into a city and taking over the city. Um, that's like in a form of like a massive tsunami in a way. And <clears throat> for me, it also like represents not only just destruction, okay? It represents birth or a birth of something new i just looked to my right and i just did notice that there's a blue butterfly on a calendar that is on the fridge over here so that is a significant sign okay blue butterfly all right it's a messenger okay but you see that full moon right here or that moon cycle we also are having we had the gemini full moon so we're going to be having the cancer full moon this month okay so 
a lot of cancer energy coming through that could also contribute to why I'm saying 444 or fourth house energy. That is the flood of emotions. Okay, you see that? You see that there was a barrier on this on the heart or the wall it can represent that your emotions are now flooding through or that your heart chakra is now opening it doesn't have to be like actual drowning because dreams doesn't mean like actual literal of what it actually means and um, it can represent that you're being overtaken by emotions at this point and you are now going to be opened um, for this new beginning all right also, I'm feeling Aquarius, so this is Age of Aquarius because of the, I don't know, I'm feeling like the water bearer. And I'm also saying, pay, saying pay attention to signs when it comes to music. Okay, so music is very important. Like you would be receiving a lot of signs and synchronicities from music, okay? <clears throat> I'm seeing throat chakra is being activated. I'm feeling it right now too. So throat chakra heavily activated at this point. Okay. <clears throat> They told me if you guys want to work on your solar plexus, oh my goodness, guys. <clears throat> if you guys want to work on your solar plexus or your uh, sacral chakra, they said go ahead and work with yellow citrine. So yellow citrine is a big, a big thing right now as far as that goes. So it will help with the grounding as well as forming some form of confidence within you. Okay. And then what else came out is the entrapment with this. So the entrapment... So this is like 34, it reduces to a seven. This is the plague doctor. You see the plague doctor, this has everything to do with the quarantine that's happening. And you see how there's this blue thing, the blue dress. So this is that feeling trapped inside, both mentally, physically, emotionally, all right? Not knowing where to go. This is also that two of swords energy, fighting with your thoughts and your emotions. So if you felt like your emotions were closed off or you felt like you were having a hard time crying or releasing or letting go, as well as just felt trapped within your situations in life, there's going to be help coming from above or situations that are going to free you or rid you from this feeling. Okay, so it's going to be a sense of peace, a clarity, a sense of cleansing. Okay. Could be in the form of tears. Discover your life purpose 29. Wow. So we have two matching numbers, 29, 11, 11. So she's wearing red. <laughs> so divine feminines, I suggest to start wearing red or getting connected with the color red for the root chakra. So discover your life purpose. That's that North Node energy. You see how this person is playing music? Okay, they're also showing me Howl's Moving Castle. So if you guys resonate with that, Howl's Moving Castle. Okay, but this is like someone who's heavily involved with their ancestors or receives signs and guidances and then they channel it through music. So a lot of the divine masculine energy actually channels in the form of music or instruments or if they don't play an instrument, it means that they have a playlist in mind or a certain music that they listen to that really helps to heal and soothe their soul or it helps them to convey their emotions and feelings towards you if they have a hard time speaking up with their throat chakra. Also, the entrapment and help from above means that if you are having a hard time figuring out your life purpose or what you need, what you're here to do in life, the Atlantis timeline is really going to bring you some clarity on what's the next step that you need to take as far as life purpose wise so if you are wanting to pursue music or any type of artistic abilities spirit is saying go ahead and go into that direction i'm also seeing writers or people who are into poetry people who are into writing about fictional worlds kind of similar to final fantasy asking a little bit more from the divine what is going on with the atlantis timeline with atlantis star seeds <clears throat> Atlantis Starcy, what significance does this hold for? <clears throat> oh my gosh, my throat chakra, guys. I really think this Atlantis timeline for Atlantis Starcy, your throat chakra, there's so much blue everywhere, and as well as green and pink and red. So heart chakra, love, activation. I'm feeling root chakra, stability. Um, no more feeling in lack mindset. If you've been struggling with finances or money in that department, because mind you, this has been a hard time for everyone dealing with unemployment or dealing with some form of loss of financial abundance. Spirit is saying what has been lost will definitely be replaced with even more, with even greater. Okay, so keep that in mind. So quite a bit fell out. Oh my goodness, guys, 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 guys. Oh my goodness. Woman holding a coin and door to value. No 
freaking way. So yes, if you are struggling in the financial department, my friend, no more, okay? Um, <clears throat> If you felt like you were comfortable and you weren't really struggling in the financial department, it just means different forms of abundance is being given to you. It doesn't have to be just wealth. It could be gifts in a form of presents because mind you, the holidays is coming up. So presents are being received. You could be seeing black cats as a form of good luck as well as I'm feeling the goddess Bastet or ancient timelines like Kemet. So Atlantis star seeds, what's happening is that you're bringing a lot of that gifts or those knowledges from that timeline and you're using that or those abilities, use that abilities, those artistic abilities, the life purpose and follow your life purpose because this is what is going to bring the most abundance as well. Okay, so releasing the lack mindset of feeling like there's not enough, there's more than enough, even if you feel like you don't have like the amount or material items that you need in order to move forward spirit is saying to look from a different perspective that you have everything right in front of you so yes wealth abundance prosperity okay 888 is what i'm hearing straight off the bat okay so abundance wealth um could be an offer someone giving you an offer of employment as well like you've um job opportunities okay maybe unexpected blessings in that matter okay unexpected checks that you didn't know that was coming through Okay. They also said taxes, something to do with taxes, okay, or just saving money. Then we have action, ooh, horses, <gasps> serious star seeds, guys. So white and black, which is the yin and yang. You could be seeing 717, you're on the right path. Divine Masculine saying, let me take the lead. They're taking the lead. It could also represent the balance of inner union right now coming for you guys. <clears throat> Action also represents, for me, lights, camera, action. So maybe someone's life purpose is to be actually in the public eye or someone who's to be seen. So I'm feeling more of celebrity status, okay? That does not apply to everyone, but I'm feeling someone is meant to be in the limelight or someone is meant to be seen, okay? Um, but yes, Sirius Starseeds, you could be seeing horses or um, go ahead and check out Sirius Starseeds, pick a card. Um, also could be connections to unicorns as well. So someone's taking action, movement forward, all right? It doesn't have to be love. It could mean someone or a masculine energy is handing out a new beginning towards you, okay? It could be someone like a boss or, or whatever, a colleague. Oh my God. Four and 33, you could be seeing 333. That is a sign as well, fertility. That is the abundance factor. That is the divine feminine energy, the ascended masters, the trinity, okay? So the rainbow, the happy family, and the door to romance. Guys, you have... You have legit all of that. Door to value, money, finances, love, family, like all, you name it. Spirit is saying, what is it that you want? Like this is like going back to that letter energy, writing out to the universe. I want love in my life. I want unconditional love. I want the highest form of love. I want respect and blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever it may be. Um, I want um, financial stability i want you know people are, um, are a lot of things that spirit is saying if you wanting to open a business try opening a business doing something like new as far as adventure wise what is it that you want okay spirit saying your possibilities are endless okay so spirit's like Be specific. <laughs> so it's like, be specific. Get, tell me what you want so I can give it to you. But you got to be open to receive it. Otherwise, I can't give it to you. Okay. So, um, but yeah, no, guys, guys, guys. And then the heart chakra, you see that? Door to value. Someone has the key to your heart. The heart chakra is booming. It's opening. This is what I meant by the help from above. This Atlantis. Um, star seeds your guys' heart truck is being blown open and the reason why you're seeing lions is because it's connected to the heart leo rules the heart chakra by the way okay so very important the heart chakra is seen as more as a portal you see this the heart chakra is actually a doorway you see the emphasis of doors or gateways or portals it's opening for you this age of aquarius this timeline Things that were just locked behind that door. Remember I say there's a wall that's just, or a curtain. You didn't notice before. The curtain now is being risen up. Okay, see, past clarity. This is like, this is the queen of pentacles. You see that? Abundance, wealth, prosperity. You don't have to be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You can be any other sign within the chart because I'm seeing that we have the star cards. So this can apply to anyone. But this is just like you feeling 
abundant within yourself. Not only that, not only financially, just you feel abundance of love. You feel abundance of knowledge. You just feel, is what Spirit says, they said a circle. It's like a, it's like you feel absolutely complete within yourself. So if you wanted a happy family, if you wanted a happy home, you got it. It's yours. What you, it's like that saying, what you want is already yours. Okay, you just got to align or match your vibration to what it is that you want. All right, so and also release and letting go of the expectation of how it comes through, what form it comes through. That is something that I learned too <laughs> with law of attraction is releasing the expectation. Okay, so this new beginning may come in the form that you may not have planned or even thought of, but hey, it opens new doorways to new possibilities and opportunities that you never thought that could ever happen okay so it's like that all right so what atlantis star seeds atlantis star seeds what spirit animals as well as twin flames like what spirit animals should you guys look out for around this time for my atlantis star seeds <laughs> swan spirit Ooh. You could be seeing swans. This is that soulmate energy. This is that six as well. Cherry blossoms are coming to mind too. So cherry blossom is a symbol of springtime, something growth, something growing. It could be like you could have a birthday in the spring or something happening in the springtime. It could just represent the abundance, like being able to harvest what it is that you've grown. Okay, and then swans also mate for life. So this is soulmate energy. I'm feeling a lot of love coming through. Ooh, love it. And then we're seeing <laughs> whale spirit. I, <laughs> I love that we have whales. So spirit is saying, it takes a lot of strength to love again. It takes a lot of strength to be vulnerable. It takes a lot of strength to open up. It takes a lot of strength to let go of the pain of the past and to let new in. I understand. It takes a lot of strength for change. So Spirit is asking you, it may seem like a lot, but Spirit is asking you just to let go and just to receive, okay? Um, but yes, trust the great mystery. Just trust the universe that they have your back, okay? And also allow yourself to dive deeper, okay? See something, like, see something for what it truly is, you know? Reflection, okay? So, wow, <laughs> whales, whales coming out. A lot of whale spirit, okay? Anything else? Atlantis star seeds. Any other animals that we should look up for? Atlantis star seeds. Atlantis, oh goodness. I think I took, oh, that's too much. Ah! It's like, be careful what you ask for, okay? <laughs> Canary spirit, sing your own song. That's that throat chakra activating. Oh my goodness, so sing your own song, sing to your own tune. The more that you sing your own song, the more that you're attracting your soul tribe or those that recognize that same song. It can represent someone hears your soul song and they love, it's like that music, listening to music, something to do with music, okay? Using your voice maybe, even if you're a singer or someone who uses their voice like a public speaker or, or a motivational speaker, look into that if you feel like called to do so. <laughs> Koi spirits, look at that. There's always enough. Didn't I say getting rid of that lack mindset? You are always enough, you know? Okay, if anybody ever made you feel like you weren't enough or you grew up with not having enough, spirit is saying that is the old timeline that is no longer being applied to the present moment. Oh my goodness, lion spirits, you see that? Oh my goodness, Lyra star seeds, so they're heavily connected. The lions represent the heart. The heart is being open, it's being blown open, guys. The solar plexus, use yellow citrine. Okay. Oh, rhino spirit, overcome any obstacles. That's that Lord Ganesh. I'm feeling Lord Ganesh. I know that's elephant, but the rhino is that unicorn. You see the unicorn, the crown chakra, the third eye? That is being activated at this time. Oh, last but not least, the butterfly spirit. You see that? Transcending through illusions. Transformation is beautiful. 11-11. I did state that I was seeing that blue butterfly, so pay attention to that. That is your signs and synchronicities that are leading you to this new beginning. Be open to it, okay? Spread your wings and fly. You, you hear me? Okay, you see that? You guys are going through a massive spiritual awakening, that phoenix rising that transformation you're about to come out the cocoon so thank you so much for watching guys see you guys in my next video and peace to you